Hello and welcome to Excelibur. In this video, I'll show you how you can extract a PDF out of an Excel file. For this, I'll take an example of a report card. So I generated a report card in my last video uh, to see how it gets generated. You can refer my video how to generate a report card out of Excel. So basically what happens is that these cells are empty and this data is empty. So this is my format of a report card. We go to the data tab. We can select any row, click on the generate report button. And this way our report card is generated. Now every time there will be a unique report card that is generated based upon the student name and marks. Now, for example, we want to take PDFs out of it. So what is the procedure? There can be two ways. I'll start with the first way. The first way is the simplest way. You go to file and then go to save as. Then here in the drop down, you define a star dot PDF. And when you click this and click on save, your PDF will be generated. So this is the first and the simplest way how to do it. But by making reports uh, using this way will be very time consuming. For example, if you have now another student and you have to generate a report, then again, you have to go to the file menu, save and it will consume a lot of time. And then you also have to define a unique report name every time to save the report card on the click of a button so that you don't have to go to this uh, file, save all the time. We can use the developer option here and then click on the insert button and add a button from the form controls. So if I add a button like this and here I can record a new macro. So I go to record button six click. I click on OK and then I'll go to file save as and then I define a report card print test and change this to PDF and then click on the save button. So this way my file gets saved and I stop the recording. Now every time I have a new entry or a new report card. So for example, I take the report card for this person. I click on the button and this report card will get saved at that particular point. But what will happen is it will always overwrite the same report card because we have defined the same name. Okay. And to change that name, we can go to the coding and define a unique name for each report card. So to go to the visual basic editor and we see the script for the button six click. So here is the path of the file. And what we can do is we can define a unique name. And for this, we'll take the name of the student. Now the student name comes in the cells three comma three. So C three. So that's three comma three. So I'll define a variable which will read value. So I define a way here and in my path here, I'll make a small change. I'll write and S name and star dot PDF. So I have defined the path here, then and and then written s name and then and and then star dot pdf now every time my report is saved the student name will be picked up from this cells three comma three and the report will be saved by a unique name so i click on save here and then if i click on the button six this report will be saved by the name of the student right so this is the way by which you can make out multiple reports and just by the click of a button you can generate the PDF for that student. Let's see how the output looks like. So this is the PDF. Now you can see that this report card is generated with this uh, name. And if you want to see the name, the name is a report card print test, which we had initially. And then the student name is picked up from the cell. 
dot pdf so every time a new ca report card will be generated the student name will appear here we can customize this name we can add spaces here and then the unique report card for each student will be generated so i hope this video will be helpful for your work and you could easily export pdfs out of excel if you like the video please subscribe to my channel excel